Kong, the train operator. Uh, Stuart, I've been a train operator for Garth for about 18 years now. I, I work I work at night. I work a 10 hour shift. So, you know, I get off around 2 in the morning. Well, for years we've been, we've been telling uh, our board of directors and management about our safety concerns. One of our concerns are having um, uh, double, double openers and double closures, meaning uh, uh, two people to either open the station early in the morning and two people to close the station at night. There are, there are definitely safety concerns regarding our, our station agents. We have station agent assaults on, on a weekly basis. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, in five, five BART stations alone, we've had over 2,000 reportable crimes to the FBI. And, and yes, they're reportable crimes. And, and BART management has, they know about these problems, we've been informing about them, and yet they refuse to do nothing about it. Um, you mean like nothing? I mean, they won't allow in the, in the morning at like 3.50, 3.30 in the morning when you come in. Well, in these high crime areas or the uh, downtown San Francisco stations, you have people that are the homeless that are sleeping near the door. You don't know if they're 5150 crazy, if they're on drugs, if they're drunk, or if they're going to attack you. So it's very scary for a person to come and open by themselves because you don't know what those people are going to do. As a station agent, I opened 16th and Mission several times, you know, by myself at 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, there I've seen people shooting themselves with heroin, heroin in, in their hip, half naked. I've seen, you know, hookers and pimps. It's like the night of the living dead out there, you know. When you, and you have to get out of your car by yourself. You're the only one there to open that station. And there are many uh, entrances and exits. And then you have to open the the um you do that all by the yourself? Yeah, you do it all alone. Okay. You're the only person there to open that station. And then Powell, Embarcadero, Montgomery Civic Center. Some of them have eight to ten entrances. Safety agents, station agents want bulletproof glass. Um, the booths that you see the agents behind, the, that the, that glass can be shattered. Okay, it's, it's shattered. The that's door. actually happened. Yes, that's happened. Yeah, that's that's actually happened. We had that. It hasn't made the news, but this is in-house thing. But yes, those things have happened. Station agents. My name is Sharina Pearson, and I'm a system yeah. service worker for Mark. Um, and what is a yeah. system service? A system service worker is basically a fancy name for a janitor slash custodian. And um, I, I think that um, Bart is an awesome company to work for. I'm very proud to be uh, working for Bart. Um, and I hope that Bart management can see that. You've got a lot of proud employees out here that don't mind. Um, and work with the community. We don't mind doing that. We, we are very proud of that. However, you know, uh, I, I don't know if Mark, you know, sees the things that we go through as workers and we put ourselves on the line dealing with a lot of different uh, things. And I, I think that safety, you know, is number one when it comes to us um, because and a lot of our benefits are being used because of injuries that occurred here at Bart. Like I've, I've had yeah, tell me two about sur I've yeah. had two surgeries on my rotator cuff mm -hmm. due to the heavy windows that weigh 40 to 60 pounds. They have to lift, raise, and lower, lower and raise at every station. Okay, and so if I'm going from Richmond to um, Fremont, that's 26 stations. I'm lifting and raising a 50, you know, pound window up and down at every station, and I have to go there and come back, and I have to do that twice a day. Well, because for safety reasons, you have to look back and make sure that the, the strip is clear and nobody gets uh, caught in the doorway. Because we have instances where somebody's hurt or their scarf is caught in the door and you don't if you don't know it your train takes out it could drag you. So it's a safe thing. We are not greedy, we are not overpaid, we are paid for our knowledge. This is not only our fight, but it's your fight. Because the unions, about that's that's what it's all about. It's, it's the unions, right? Unions set the standards for middle class. So if if the unions start to fall down, everyone else falls down. So so. Hey, Connie.
Oh, that's good.